Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our Appium with Java series, we are looking into the framework designing, right? With the different test cases, like if you would have seen in our previous session, we have taken like this particular test case where we were counting the uh, items from the uh, that e-commerce uh, mobile application demo application and then we were identifying whether the total number of items are six or not and then we were sort by we were doing a default sort and then we were finding the amount and the item name should be uh, what do you call as expected right like this is what actually we were looking into now if you would have seen when this particular stage is coming uh, the first assertion which we tried right and uh, while taking this get items it was scrolling towards down right and then we were resetting back by moving the scroll to up method and we have observed that it was keep on like uh, keep on like it was scrolling up so in this particular app uh, the like if you see what is the concept we have applied here the previous page source right to scroll down or to up we were looking into what is the end of that particular scroll right and this particular ios application was not respecting to grab the page source actually like if you want to just understand if you have to watch my previous video i'll just play it real quick actually here if you see okay so as you can see it was continuously scrolling to top uh, though it is already reached to the top of the page it was still trying so it means that the page source was uh, uh, constantly updating to something actually so that was the case actually there so what we have done here uh, i'm going to do some changes like for an instance if if you go into this particular first let's go into this get items if you see here like we were uh, for the android driver we were taking it as a util dot scroll to top right it means that we don't really need to do a scroll to top when it is coming for the ios application right so that is the reason we, we can comment it here now you might get a question like what are the different ways that i can do like if i want to scroll down let's say that how do i scroll down okay because there is no concept of a page source right so how do i deal with it so there are a couple of things that i need to really uh, try to discuss here which might help you to de uh, to deal with different kinds of application one is okay why do we really scroll it for any kind of applications like for an instance for android why do we need to scroll because what does the android do is whenever there is a kind of a scrolling mechanism right until unless you don't come to the uh, viewport it was not able to identify that's why we were keep on scrolling and then we were trying to identify for ios application also does the same thing only like when you fetch it it fetches all of your data but when you try to open something then it was not able to do that's why we have written like if you see this util uh, here right uh, we had something called as a scroll to scroll and click uh, for a list item or else if you want to go to any kind of element you can simply put the by locator and it used to go and we were using this while uh, while previous source right because see if that element is found that's fine actually if the element is not found it it will be keep on scrolling right infinitely that's why we were putting a restriction if the previous page source is equal to the current page source it means that we are coming to the end of the scroll and you don't need to really worry about identifying the element further right now in this case like if i i mean for this particular application this doesn't really work okay because it will be keep on scrolling if this element is not found that is the issue we got it right now what i can suggest is that whenever like these things are happening like as i told two things are there one is uh, uh, this particular app when I tried right I don't need to scroll to perform any action like if I'm trying to click this footer let's say that uh, I can simply click it without even scrolling down let's say this is my sixth item on the list right and you can see that sixth item is not uh, present on the viewport but still I can click on that without even scrolling to that 
so these things can be possible without scrolling so i don't really need to worry about whether the uh, pay source is really coming same or different right i'll show you real quick that but still let's say that a couple of your applications that you are trying to automate it uh, you need to compulsorily scroll it but your pay source is not working actually there so what i would suggest is that we still have an option actually for the scrolling down or up always try to find it out a reference point like let's say you are in this and you want to scroll top so you need something right a reference point till what you need to scroll so i would suggest to take a kind of a header for almost any application will have a header and footer like a uh, header bar and then there would be a footer or something like if i if i am here i want to scroll it then i can say that till this product products is visible you can keep on scrolling actually in fact we have done that i will show you that like scroll to top you can see there is an option okay maybe i think we haven't done that but yeah we can do yeah you can see scroll to a particular element so you can simply say that take that element identify that element if it is displayed then you come out of the loop as simple as that right so the same concept i can uh, add like uh, till the product is not displayed this particular text you will be keep on scrolling up once it is displayed you don't need to scroll it the same thing if you want to scroll down uh, scroll down till this particular footer is visible right or uh, till it is not visible once it is displayed you come out of that loop so that is what actually I wanted to give these are the two options uh, either you don't need to really do any kind of scrolling and it does its job for iOS application it will automatically scroll and then will click the operation if not then you have to take a reference point to scroll down or up I'll show you one option in this particular app as I told you don't need to really scroll it to click anything that is not in viewport I'll try to identify this element and this element and i will try to click it without scrolling and it will work this is what i have tested as well let me show you that so for this i will be creating a copy of this and i will paste it and if you see in this product page i have already identified the footer part actually okay now i will also sure i'll identify another one let's say that fifth item i'm just saying something and here i will say by xpath and here i will be putting this xpath let's say for ios driver see this is my uh, name right this name is actually here you can see i have already identified this right so i will just copy it and i will paste it here and instead of one i will say five or maybe i will say sixth item i want to click it so i'll try to click these two items without even scrolling that is what i'm going to do here actually so i'll just comment all these things i'll quickly write that two statements to click on that okay and instead of this i will say prod page dot i'll say fifth item and here i will say footer okay so one by one it will click uh, probably like let's say that uh, i'll come uh, i'll do i'll run one by one or else so that you can see because once i will click on this right it will automatically scroll and this is already into the viewport so you, we can't test it uh, i'll show you quickly what i'm trying to talk here actually so let me run the apm server actually apm server is not required it will run automatically so let me run this and you can see that it literally scrolled into this particular uh, what do you call bottom of this particular uh, item right now because i have clicked on the particular text there is no like you can see i think i have taken the price one that's why i didn't open it but let me take the text actually then it will literally open that particular item so let me quickly run that and see that So without scrolling it will simply open that and you can see it scrolled and also it opened this particular 
item actually there now the same thing i can deal with my uh what do you call like the footer as well now let me just uh, uncomment this and this one i will comment it and run it quickly and you can see there is no click event actually here that's why it simply scroll down here and it just clicked and you can see i'm clicking no other actions there it's just a text only so this is what actually i wanted to uh, trying or i uh, i was trying to tell that uh, wherever the page source is not working you just need not to worry about that 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 is that is not the end of the testing probably you need to also see different application uh, behaves differently you just need to do couple of hit and trial to make sure that is the scrolling is required if the scrolling is not required you simply try to identify the element and it does its job actually there so i hope this particular session is really helpful to understand how to handle different applications one rule doesn't fit for all the applications so you have to do some kind of experiment to understand how to handle different situations so that was pretty much it for today please stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't thank you for watching